Leadership is privilege. It must be impactful, says Dr. Betty Kokom Gimba at Wongozi Institute fifth graduation. A leader must be impactful for the greater good. According to leadership inspiration speaker, community leader, and bank executive Dr. Betty Kokom Gimba. I usually sometimes liken leadership to a tree. Let's take for example a mango tree. A mango tree will almost have no other job while it's being planted. It grows up until it gives fruits. That's when it becomes useful. That for me is the perfect example of a leader. A leader will struggle like we have struggled so much to get this education right now. A leader will struggle so much to make sure that they bring themselves to be of relevance to people. But at the end of the day, a leader must remember that it depends to build other people. But if you do not build other people just like that mango tree, then you do not deserve to be a leader. Leadership is living for others and not for oneself. And for you to be able to produce a sweet mango, you must have been seasoned. You must have gone through the fire to be able to be a great leader. Speaking shortly after graduating at Wongos Institute fifth graduation ceremony on 13th May 2022 in Dalesla, she expressed the gratitude for acquiring new leadership skills set from institution that will enable her to save her motherland Tanzania better. In the different modules as we are being trained, I must say that uh, two of those modules were very close to my heart or they became very close to my heart. The first module which was very close to my heart was communication skills. Human beings, we are communicating. It's very hard for a leader to be impactful if they do not know how to communicate. And communication is not just a matter of talking to each other. It's how do you talk to somebody. If, I, if I'm talking to a child, it will be different the way I would talk to a grown up or even a teenager or even a woman and a man. They are all different skill sets of communication. And it made me feel that uh, sometimes we do the wrong communication to a particular kind of people. And that's one skill set that I learned, a module that I really hold dear to my heart. The second module that I hold very dear to my heart is ethical leadership or living in ethics. It's very common to see leaders who are not ethical in leadership. Yet we all cry for ethics and corruption in the rest. And it's a, it's a module that has really touched my heart because it taught me how to be able to value ethics every single day, in every single decision, in every leadership step that I make. There were other modules like uh, leading change. We live in a constantly uh, changing world. So the module of leading change was the last one, but it was very, very interesting. And um, in the communities we live with, in the workplaces we live in, there's constant change with technology changing every day, uh, leading uh, a generation that is changing every day and that embraces change. And uh, what I see is that in all the models, there is relevance in my leadership skills in every one of them. We learn financial skills or financial management. Being a banker, it was very key for me. We also learned about human resource management, how to manage people and to be able to know which kind of a person you, be, you can be able to work with in what particular place for them to be valuable to you. Then we learned emotional intelligence. Why is it that it's important for a leader to be able to be balanced in their emotions to be a better leader? And it has been really a wonderful journey for me as a learner. Dr. Betty Kimba was among 41 new generation postgraduate leaders from both public and private institutions who graduated from the government of Tanzania's premier leadership institution at an event presided by the Deputy Minister of State President's Office, Public Service, Management and Good Governance, POPSMGG, Mr. Deogratus Dejembi. The institution equips Tanzanian African leaders to deliver inclusive and sustainable solutions for their nations and Africa. Dr. Betty, currently the head of customer service and experience in Equity Bank Tanzania, resonated with the Institute's board chair's words, Ambassador Ombeni Sefue, that no matter how divinely gifted with leadership traits you are, 
Wongo's Institute can still help you become a better leader. She said the postgraduate diploma in leadership, PGD, has dramatically motivated her to become a better version of herself and bring impactful change. For me, growth is very important. The importance of today is that it's a milestone to my growth, especially intellectually. In the growth of my career, in the growth of my education life, and also in experiences that I have as a leader. Uh, communally, it's very difficult for us to be able to be leaders if we are not having the right skills or the right skill sets to be able to lead our people. So for me to the community, it's really important because I've earned a great skill set during this course, in the one year that I've been doing this course. And I am very confident that I can be able to practice what I have learned in the different 10 models that we've gone through in making sure that I am a relevant person in the community. Dr. Beth said she believes that everyone has a divine purpose of placement in a country, institution or community. For her, she said she believes in divine purpose fulfillment in Tanzania is a vital assignment to serve. She expressed the sentiment that Uongo's Institute had helped expand her mind on how she can be more useful as a leader for the nation. As for the importance of this course to me towards my country, what I believe is that everybody has been placed in a respective country to be of importance. It's J.F. Kennedy who said that do not ask what your country will do for you, but look within and see what you can be able to do for your country. So I believe the different models also that I've learned will make me relevant to my country to be able to say yes, I'm proud to be born Tanzania. I am proud that today I'm in Tanzania because I am expediting what I was born to do and why I was born in Tanzania. And that the country can be able to say yes, we are grateful to have such a mind or such a person in this country because we see them being relevant and be useful to the country in these different ways. Thank you.